Happy New Year to everyone, all our viewers, our producer, or to all the members of staff of Plus TV, to all my family and friends, to everyone, I say Happy New Year. What has 2020 taught me? 2020 has taught me to value friendships more, to be more innovative, to think of others more. Now, these days, when I don't hear from anyone, I automatically give that person an excuse because people are dealing with a lot of things and that feeling of entitlement of, I should get this. I am slowly dispensing with this, with it rather. It's to start me to focus more on work and um, to be more accepting of life. And basically, I'm and to be more hygienic, I take my health seriously now. And what do I expect in 2021? My foremost prayer for 2021 that we defeat the virus. This virus that turned the whole world around. I my foremost prayer is that we defeat it jointly. And that all what we lost or we did not achieve in 2020, we'll be to achieve it in 2021. Let the virus is still around. Let us continue to keep safe, maintain our hygiene, and maintain social distancing. Pray more, work hard, and I'm so optimistic that 2021 will be a greater year. 2020 with all that happened we thank god we will not dismiss it it happened we thank god it was just a test and we we're going to have testimonies in 2021 thank you very much and keep keeping safe yay if you're watching this that means it is 2021 Yes, we made it, isn't it? So, I have to say this, Happy New Year! Okay, so for me, 2020 was a year of a lot of mixed feelings. It was filled with positives and also negatives, of course. So, um, the negatives first was that I lost a lot of loved ones and in the process, other people also lost a lot of loved ones due to COVID and otherwise. And we also had the issue of um, NSARS and the lockdown, which took its toll on a lot of us as individuals. But it also made us have that moment of silence where we had to sit back and think and become more innovative in our business dealings. So 2020 also opened the door to businesses coming out of the brick and mortar style and throwing every ounce they had into the business space of the uh, internet. I look forward to 2021 where we'll be more unified, where the governance in the country will be better and the educational system will be revamped positively, not negatively. And we also look forward to a system where the government will be more deliberate in resolving issues that concerns the masses in Nigeria especially. And um, I also look forward to being more deliberate and intentional in my businesses. So for me, 2021 is a year of being more intentional and being more deliberate. So have a wonderful 2021. Twenty twenty, what a year. Um, twenty twenty has been many things. And with all its challenges it has taught me two things. One, it has taught me that I am made of more because it has stretched me and has tested my limits. Two, it has taught me to be more empathetic. It has brought some realities to my doorstep and has shown me that, you know, there's more out there and the things that we can better relate with. Now, what do I want to see in 2021? First, I want to see the coronavirus go away. Like, 
in the first quarter of 2021 we should not have any coronavirus i know that um it's a long stretch but that's what i want to see too i want to see that all the lessons that we have learned in 2020 we use them in 2021 so all this sort of soke movement all the working from home we should better improve on it and make sure that we, we continue to do them in 2021 2020 was a wave of emotions for me, different experiences. Uh, sometimes I was happy, sometimes I was sad, sometimes I was just there not feeling anything. It got to a point that I really wasn't feeling anything anymore. I became emotionless because I was literally tired of everything that was happening. It was one bad news to another. And I'm also grateful for the good news and for the life of my family and friends. <laughs> For 2021, I am really hopeful for 2021. I hope that it is going to be a great year for for us. I plan to achieve those goals that I couldn't achieve in 2020. Build on myself, my skills, um, be able to impact those around me, build meaningful relationships, basically. Um, I'm really, really hopeful, really hopeful, not just for me, for my friends, for my family, because if it is good for people around me, then it is good for me if you're happy then I am happy. Um, I also wish you guys the best and pray and hope for the same thing for you. I hope to hear your good news. Um, I wish you a happy new year. I'll talk about the positives of 2020. For me, it was a year of reinvention. I learned how to leverage technology to carry on my business. And I was able to host conferences, virtual meetings, some of them I moderated, some of them I organized by myself, and we had participants from Nigeria and other countries. So that was great. For 2021, I'm looking forward to growth. I'm looking forward to development in every area, spiritual, physical, in career, in every area. I'm looking forward to growth and development. I am positive, I believe it's going to be an amazing year. Wow, 2020, what a year. <laughs> Let me borrow Akanimo's words. Amidst all the negative news, we had great things come from that year. One thing I held so close was hope that everything will end in praise. Now, hope is an important ingredient, especially when you are working through uncertainties. Now, so today we just want to share hope to all of you. You know, you can share what you are hopeful for in 2021. Now let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WeShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WeShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 I mean, it's so interesting watching everyone's um, video. Absolutely. We had to, you know, do that monster, you know, because uh, um, for me, I think um, 2020, I want to take a little bit from Lamy. Mm -hmm. You have to understand the importance of relationships. Mm -hmm. I remember somebody sending me a chat last night saying that, oh, I cannot wait to hug you again. Aww. You know, the, the simplest things that we used to overlook, take like they granted. do not matter. Exactly. You know, so I, I think everybody is looking forward to the COVID um, coronavirus going away so that we can go back. Now we will not come from a place of appreciation where we appreciate those little things, right? Exactly. I, I think for me, you know, that's very key. You know, um, Lami talked about relationship. Mm -hmm. She talked about, you know, making excuses for people. When mm -hmm. you see that the person is, you don't know what the person is going, going through, through internally, right? Don't mm -hmm. just assume that, oh, the person should be okay. No. Mm -hmm. You know, and you also don't take for granted people's emotions. Exactly. Don't take for granted people's emotions. You must be able to say, you know what, I love you and I appreciate what you're doing. Exactly. When you see people make genuine effort to make you look good, mm -hmm, yeah. you also also I need to appreciate, appreciate them. them. So for let me, me hear you. Yeah. I, I, I took something from uh, Jens, and what she said was um, enhancing skills. Mm. To me, I think that's so paramount in today's world because you have to learn and relearn and unlearn and relearn different skills. Mm. Not because you um, you have to, but because if you don't, you will be stale. Absolutely. So it is important that you do that, and that will give you hope that whatever comes your way, mm -hmm. you are able to you know stand at par with whatever comes mm. in. Absolutely. So it's so important that Absolutely. you keep 
doing what Relearning, you do and learning and yeah. enhancing your skills. Absolutely. How about you, Jennifer? Um, <laughs> I think what resonated with me the most was actually what Lamy said about empathy. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. I know this year, people, a lot of people have been through a lot, to be honest. Last year, please. Oh. Yes, last sorry, last, last year. <laughs> last year, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> In 2020. 2020. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 2020, a lot of people went through a lot. And Absolutely. Some people were very quiet about it, and I didn't, in as much as you know mm -hmm. that the world is, or the world was going through a lot in 2020, people didn't want to burden you with, with their mm, own issues. They were going through. But somehow, at least for, let me speak for myself, for those of my friends who I knew that um, they couldn't actually come out to tell you how they were feeling, I just had to reach out. Like, I think I saw somewhere on Twitter where someone said, Don't ask, how are you? anymore ask how are you feeling mm. because when you say how are you somebody stops oh, you it's fine, fine. I'm fine. Mm. now when you ask how are you feeling now the person has to actually sit down and say mm. okay how am, how am i feeling you have to say something you just have to say something mm. beyond fine and i think that's something we all need to learn mm. do away with the word fine because um there are people who actually want to help you mm. there are yeah. people who are willing to be there for you mm. if you give them the chance my to. dear <laughs> and another thing if okay. 2020 okay. did not teach me anything mm. you ask me how are you I will tell you my emotions. <laughs> no, honestly. So for me, I think um, the way I, I was, the way I am, yeah. you know, my, my mom and my dad would always find it difficult to get me to tell them how I truly feel. You. you know, I just feel like, you know what, I don't want to burden you with my emotions. Mm. So I bottle up a lot of things. But I realized that bottling, bottling up my emotions, I'm a very emotional person in terms mm. of connectivity. Mm. If I give you who I am, I don't think mm. you can handle it. I'm mm. telling you. Emotionally. So I know, because you know why? I treat people how I want to be treated. treated. Mm. So if you tell me you have a headache, trust me, I will follow you through that headache to make sure that the headache, headache is gone. gone. Mm -hmm. I don't give half me measures. I don't go halfway. Food doses. I give you food dose, food package for everything. <laughs> so I realize that because I am like that, it is so difficult for me to tell people how I feel. So later part of 2020, you know, especially the month of December, I started declu decluttering yeah. my emotions. Mm -hmm. So there are some friends, I had to call them out. I said, no, I'm giving you X, Y, Z of my time. I expect you reciprocate that emotional love and co connection that I am giving you. Mm -hmm. If you are not ready to do that, then we can be friends from arm's oh, length. Yeah. I know that, okay, I, do not have, I don't have to invest my emotions in that friendship. Yeah. Those were the friends I had to call them out. You know, even with my relationship, right? Mm -hmm. I had to tell my husband, these are the things that, this is how I'm feeling. You know, because you know what? We are so bottled up. You know why I think I got to that point? There was a, 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 a story I shared on our group on WhatsApp. Yeah. Where a young lady booked a ticket to a very expensive um, tourist destination. I can't remember what state now. And she booked it, went to the place, a beautiful place. She went to the topmost part of that um, structure and she jumped to the ground. So she had pre yes, she had pre programmed her suicide note. It was scheduled to, 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 to post on its own. Oh, I, saw I think two it. days later. Yeah. So she said that in that suicide note, she said, Well, I am hoping that by now I am dead because I would not want to be in the hospital being a vegetable. Because she knew where she was going. She knew that by the time she was going to make that fall, no it was going hope. to be instant death. And she was pronounced dead. So look at how people are not able to express how they feel. I mean, so if I do not have a friend where I can confide in you emotionally to say, you know what, or a, a partner, then it is not worth it. You must yeah. put your emotions first. So for me, I think 2020 was an awakening. That I am an emotional person. Mm. So if I want to if I want to be sane, I must be able to get people around me that can help me unburden those emotions, mm. not complicate my issues. Yeah. So I think that one for me was a very, very big deal for me. And I think I'm so grateful that I was able to work through that journey. Yeah. Because it made me it made me lighter. I, I feel yes. lighter right now. Mm -hmm. You Absolutely. know? So I and I'm not guilty about how I feel because I have decided to put me First. First, another thing is there's <laughs> something that happened during the NSAS or the lockdown was also something that had to be done in terms of relationships. Yeah. A lot of people were abused 
in their homes. They couldn't even relate with their partners. They couldn't, the children couldn't even express themselves at the same time. And that shows that whatever relationship you have, if you have a good relationship, it shows. If you have a bad relationship, it shows. Now our mental health also plays a major role in this. Mm. So wherever we have, um, we've gone um, astray, in our relationships with our with individuals that we hold close, it's important that we air our views. Mm. And another thing is, how well do we air our views to individuals Communication. That, are, that are with us? Mm. And how safe are you when you're airing your views? Sometimes, yeah. I, I remember there was a time I was a little girl, my brother, I upset my brother, and I had to tell my brother my mind. So I quickly ran to the end of the door, you know, just outside, the, just by the door, and I said, Ernest, do you hear me? <laughs> I told my brother what I had to tell him. And after I had done that, I ran for my life <laughs> immediately because I didn't want him to, you know, attack me immediately. So if you have to do that, you should hmm. do that. But the key thing is air your views. Make sure you're on burden. Yeah. Understanding. Hmm. So next time, if you have to, um, the other person will be able to hear you Absolutely. better. Absolutely. Communication Absolutely. is key Very for mental key. health. People actually hmm. downplay the importance of communication mm -hmm. see uh, in as much as um, Twitter can be very toxic when you actually go on Twitter daily you get to see the opinions of people and you see how mm -hmm. aggressive how either vague or shallow some people can actually be exactly. mm -hmm. because we're dealing with human beings here mm -hmm. and a lot of people don't treat people the way they want to be treated mm -hmm. you treat them anyhow and then you expect them to treat you with importance mm -hmm. how if mm -hmm. I'm feeling some type of way, I, I, I also, the same way you had to look deep into yourself and you learned a lot of things. I've always been a great communicator because I'm very, very emotional. Mm -hmm. I might not cry or anything, but I show different forms of emotion. And mm -hmm. my face, you can tell. Mm -hmm. When I'm sad, happy, upset, disgusted, irritated, you will see it. So I don't know how to actually hide it. But I, know, I don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. But then I noticed that I always give people long rope. That you don't give to me. Mm. And then my friend called me out one day. She said, you're giving people too much access to you. And I'm like, I don't understand what you mean. So I had to look at one particular incident um, with a friend of mine. And I realized that, oh, now I understand what she's saying. You I didn't see the need. To call uh, yeah. Too. So the thing is, I didn't see the need to call this friend out because mm. I had done it before in the past. At this point, Makes I felt, you know what? There is really no point doing that. I'm just mm. going to cut off the friendship. Mm. Because yeah. what I'm giving to you you're not giving it to me back. And I have Absolutely. communicated this to you. So if you're not going to take it, ah. So no, for us, hope is, you. yeah, Another, we'll, we'll, okay. we'll come back to that. Because okay. hope for us is, first of all, you putting yourself first. Because, you know, if you believe in yourself and who you are, you can conquer anything. You can surmount anything. Mm -hmm. You know, so um, paying attention to yourself in 2021 is very, very key. You know, it's very, very key. But we're going to go on a very, very short break. When we return, we'll continue the conversation. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.